Hi, my name is Patrick Ginty, and this is Catholic NCTV. And today we are going to, to discuss Pachamama. Okay, for those of you who have been living under a rock and don't know who Pachamama is, uh, basically the gist of it goes, during the Amazon Synod in the Vatican, uh, basically, this idol was brought in. Uh, was brought in of a woman who was pregnant. Uh, is a pagan idol. It's not a Christian symbol of anything. And so, you know, in this false kind of uh, ecumenical spirit, uh, a lot of errors were made by people in the church. And this crazy pagan idol was brought into uh, the the Amazon Synod and it was even like there were services in which the idol was reverenced and it was even brought into some of our churches and so rightly so people were offended and we should be offended why because like if you read the whole Old Testament basically God was telling people there's one God and stop worshiping idols just don't do it don't do that you know, we see God's creation and we think, oh, wow, this is beautiful. This, this, this is, there's something heavenly about it. And so the tendency of human beings is to worship physical things where God is spiritual. God is the creator of all things. We should only worship him. Pachamama uh, is an idol. It's against our faith. And we as Catholics have to be especially cognizant of this because there are many, many people out there that accuse us of idol worship because of our images in churches. Of course, we know that images are there just to help our prayer uh, and so that we can honor the, those who have gone before us and, and we can ask the saints to pray for us and they depict things of our faith. Um, but Pachamama was a big error. And those who are involved in it, um, you know, should be repentant of what they did for confusing the faithful, uh, for worshiping gods that are not our own God. Those who brought them into the church should also, you know, they should repent of what they did. Pachamama, this is, I'm going to phrase it all, Pachamama is not your mama. Pachamama is not one of our gods, it's not one of our saints, it's not anything it should be, and it was a disgrace that it happened in the first place. Uh, now, onto the question of whether Pachamama should, be, should have been thrown into the Tiber. This is how I'll answer this. If Pachamama had not been in the church, let's say it was in some dude's apartment, who's a, like, he's, he's a pagan and he doesn't believe in Christ and everything, and he has his little idol. You know what? Leave him and his idols alone. None of our business. Everyone has the right to, to worship God as he sees fit. The minute you put Pachamama in one of our Catholic churches is an affront to God and anything goes. You know, so Pachamama being thrown into Tiber. I think was uh, it was a, a godly act. It was inspired by God, uh, and we're grateful that someone had the courage to do it. So remember, there are a lot of idols in life. This is one idol. It's kind of a silly idol. Most of us make idols out of money and 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 fame or whatever. Uh, but Pachamama is not your mama. So let's just stay away from all types of idols, all types of pagan worship and everything else, and let's cling to Christ, who is our only way to salvation. And one clarification that I want to make, uh, I want to distinguish between right and freedom. So people have the right, in the secular sense, to, to worship whatever God they want, uh, but that's not true freedom. Freedom in the Catholic sense is freedom to do what is right, to do what is God's will, to do what is good for us. Uh, freedom is liberation from things like false gods and from sin and from, from slavery and death and all those things. And so, this is Catholic NCTV. My name is Patrick, and I wish you a very Pachamama-free life. Don't go there. Don't do that. God bless.